uh, I'm thrilled we won the game. Charlotte has a ton of talent. Uh, you know, it starts with Braswell, guy scores inside, he makes threes, he's a huge body. They have athletes, they have guys who make threes. And, uh, you know, I'm just really pleased that, that we were able to win the game. Uh, I don't think we played our best, which sounds weird for, for winning 13 against a team as talented as Charlotte, but, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're really pleased with the outcome. Yeah, I noticed it, but I mean, like, that zone kind of stuck, had us a little stuck, so, like, once everybody calmed down, we got we got back to doing what we were doing and getting stops. I think every, then that opened up our offense, but like, I think it all started on our defense event. 55-52, here's Pettis again, fakes the foul line jumper, foul on the play, Jarrell Wright finishes, and the entire team rushes to pick him up off the floor after contact was made. Well, whatever they give me, I got to take. I saw in the beginning they was double teaming me, so, when the point guards and everybody was cutting, I looked for the open man, and we got we got like we created shots, everything off that. That pretty much was like the game plan. He's a big guy who wants to be a big guy. You know, all, all you know. Frankly, if a big guy wants to come here and play like he's you know six foot instead of six eight, we're probably not very interested in that anymore. You know, we we want big guys who want to be big guys. And Jarrell is a tough guy. He's inside, he does work, and you know, we want big guys who want to be big guys. White to the top, Mills for three. Sam Mills, his second three-pointer, and the Explorers lead at 22-19. Durant, back to Peterson, wide up for three. DJ Peterson! The freshman always has a killer look, and it's a 10-point lead. Dunn goes into the corner, Durant will take the three. Pow! Tyreek Durant! Number one, going into this game, we, it wasn't even the middle of the season. So, you know, I, I, I had zero interest in being happy about first place uh, going into this game. But at the midway park, at, part, at the midway point, it's a little bit of a milestone. And, uh, you know, it's like being up at halftime against a really good team. You know, I mean, it's like, hey, we had a good half, but now it's winning time. You know, now it, it really counts. But uh, it's not bad to be up at halftime, but it's only halftime. Not, nothing's won at halftime but it's, it's better to be up at halftime than down. Saturday, it's St. Joseph's. To any fan of Explorer basketball, no matter what the record is, the biggest game of the season lies in front of this team. It does, and it's a huge one. It's only one game, but it also counts as a road game. So if LaSalle can get a win, just more quality to the resume, it's not going to be easy. When you have Langston Galloway and Carl Jones, C.J. Aiken in the middle, who really was a force against LaSalle last year, you know St. Joe's desperately wants to win that game. So it'll be a big matchup for the Explorers Saturday afternoon at the Palestra.